Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. So, you're done listening to Fairfax's prattling. That man turns a pretty phrase, and does so to the exclusion of all else. Tell me, Captain, what does your rank signify? Militia? I maintain the train band. I also anticipate threat. Natives, brigands, the French and other monsters. The curse, though, that's a whole different kettle of shite. Not even poor Davenport saw that one coming. Any thoughts on the origins of the curse? None useful. I'm a military man. I'm no dark artist. I'll take that as a gentle jab. You don't believe in my work. I can tell you're a woman of talent and capability. I respect that. The rest of it, that's your remit, not mine. Me? I'm the old guard. You and your Scots green on your the hope. You'd best prevail. We'll be back. I'll be here. Unless I'm not. We should go to Esther. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Thick skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right I do. New Eden is dying and anyone who stays is dead or direct. Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle it. There's no hope for new... Not till the weather changes, and it don't look like changing. What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse, and the game rots as quick. You can't eat a ghost, can't skin it, can't sell it. So what'll be the use? So, the curse? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad, and I know we found the Reverend dead. What of that useless clackwagger? With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them up. What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left. These last months have been hard on him. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. Well then, I. You'll be the banishers then. Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names... Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The Minister said you'd have questions. Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbours, Someone must have let the evil in. A name might help. I'll not poison my parish with loose chatter. Besides, I have no name to give you. What are you doing out here? Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. 
My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes. Did you know? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we- He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor- You may have your- Well- I barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His if he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he... You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles' interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldier. Charles thought so too. We'll take a look. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. 
The school lab. Else. Wouldn't you rather stay here? It's very kind, but a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. Of course. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. I can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Esther, I'm sorry to... How may I... We'll... I'll be here... How pleasant to see these old, familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner-turned-lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be a... Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Got enough books, Charles. See, the piano is not the only thing you paid a pretty penny to ship. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He was a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favourite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me?
Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settler's dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now. But that will change, I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. 
We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Hi. You too. This fire can't have started on its own, not in this cold. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. Uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. What I need right now is information about- I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of- I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all the- Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. The nightmare- Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you- I dream- Someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks. She just stands there. Watch. Does she manifest at a... If she does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. You're leaving... As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies attacked. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rowed ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry spectres and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can... Care to trade? Most of my goods...
I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be good. So close to town. Where are you leading me? More of you? Well, you tried. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Everyone buried here died in 1677, a previous epidemic. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Seashore candle and pyrite will do the trick for the jaw.
Enough. Focus, Antea. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Each stain hides a story. Focus, Antea. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now.
I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. We'll banish it, Red and I. Be warned. Your death pains us great. I know. For my part... I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. In the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead and dead. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... I don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther. I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gay. The spirit is vengeance pure. I've heard you. No. I must remain. You know how this works. 
I am still myself, Antea. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the night... Charles Davenport was a good man and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your Antea, soul. wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace, and you deserve to rest. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly, tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you.
Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte. Duarte? Duarte? You came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying? Let me have a look at you. Huh, right. Well. Tell me about your... Why? Would you like to buy some chai? You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and I should have gone when I had the... What can you tell... The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time. It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if... Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? What did Haskell not lay it out? We've ministered in my... A very... You're up to... We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not... Would you banish me? You'll not escape me so easy. <laughs> I'd fill you with... F it's the old... You're a scruffy-headed lout. Fuck. <laughs> I think Charles is right. I really hope not. So... We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Poor